Hey everybody, it's Danny. And uh, it's been a while since I posted a video. We've been really, really busy trying to get stuff done. And uh, I'll let you look and see what we got going on here. I'm gonna turn you around. So if you've been keeping up with us, you'll know we got our spiral staircase. Bird's happy, he's loving life. We got the ceilings in. All the ceilings are in. We got the cable railing done upstairs. And uh, it's not the stainless steel uh, rod that the stairwell has, but it's stainless steel cable. And it really looks nice. And from upstairs, you really got a good view out of the, out of the front windows. We got our lights in. Those little speakers over there are the uh, HRV. So it brings fresh air in and takes uh, stale air out. And uh, we've got the closets in. We've got a lot of the bath, uh, kitchen stuff in the bathroom right now because we're still uh, putting in cabinets, but we got the bathroom getting close to done. And we got the garage drywalled, mostly. All the interior walls are drywalled. Right over here, we're gonna have a dog washing station. Right there, there's the drain for the for the dog wash. It, it's gonna be a, a utility tub. There's the sink for the utility tub. Got a hose bib over there for washing the cars out in the front of the garage. Got electrical. All this, we're, get, we're gonna go ahead and put drywall on this for now and then cover it with steel later. We just wanna get the walls covered the cheapest way possible for now. And you see all of our kitchen cabinets, the free stuff we got on Craigslist are gone. That is because the purpose of this video today is to show you our Ikea kitchen. And uh, I know a lot of people don't like Ikea kitchens, but we really enjoy them. It's great, great kitchen um, for the money. Uh, we're, instead of $20,000 for what we've got for cabinets, we paid about 3,200. And with the, we can afford to get a nice set of granite on top. But right now you can see, we've got a 15 inch cabinet, got a 24 inch cabinet, a blind corner, a, an 18 inch cabinet, a sink cabinet that's gonna have a pull out on the bottom. The granite sink will be an undermount sink. Our granite is going to be uh, um, quartz, we're doing quartz. And the quartz countertop, they're coming today to do the template. And then in about a week and a half, we should have our countertops. And then we can start tiling the backsplash. It's all gonna be white subway tile. Countertop's gonna be gray, cosmic gray. And we've got a 36 inch cabinet here with four drawers. It's got a top drawer and then a little drawer that pulls out inside. And then two uh, 12 inch deep drawers. We got another blind corner. This is gonna be the bar. And we've got a 30 inch cabinet on the end of the bar. And then we'll have an overhang that'll be about nine inches. And this will be just a nice little eating bar. This back we're gonna face with half inch plywood. And then uh, we're gonna paint that black because all the cabinets are black. So we're gonna paint a nice half inch piece of, uh, a piece of half inch paintable plywood. And uh, we're gonna paint that black. And if, we, if we're not happy with the way it looks, we're going to finish it like the fireplace with some shiplap and some trim around the edge here. So that's where we're at with the cabinets. Right now I'm gonna show you how to put together an Ikea drawer for those of you that are working with Ikea cabinets. Um, we've got our cabinets that are in, our level and uh, flush and adjusted properly. I'm gonna show you how to install a cabinet. I'm gonna show you how to build a cabinet or uh, I'm gonna show you how to build a drawer I'm gonna show you how to install a cabinet and then I'm gonna show you how to level and get your cabinets all um, looking nice. So, here we go. So the nice thing about Ikea cabinets is they're packed really well. Um, we have this delivered. So, easiest way, you don't wanna use a, a, a knife on here, but if you grab a hold of the cardboard and you get your fingers underneath the end, then it's really easy to just rip it off. Of course, the, the worst one yet. Real easy to lift it off, get your finger under there. Open up your box. And 
and you take out your pieces. You got the back, the instruction booklet, the uh, seasoning packet, the drawer size, the uh, adjustment bars, and your hinges. And in the long box, if you look, this is kind of a, a little B-shaped box. The long box, I like to open with my razor knife. On the outside edge, because there's a piece of cardboard spacer there, and if you just go right along that outside edge, it makes it real easy to get your cabinet out, your bottom. So, what we need to do here is we need to uh, take our drawer back. If you look at the instructions, I don't know if you've ever seen an Ikea kitchen, but in the instructions, it has a page to show you where the drawers go, depending on what kind of setup you have, what drawer, what drawer configuration you have. And then it's got the instruction booklet. And in the instruction booklet, <coughs> it tells you how to put the, the, the body of the drawer together. And then as you get closer to the, to the section where, if you zoom in over here, you got a section here that shows if you're doing inside drawers. So if your drawers, if you have a, the, the cabinet I showed you, the 36 inch cabinet that has a top drawer that pulls out and there's another drawer inside, let the dog out real quick here. Then you would go down to, to item five. And then over here, you've got, if your drawers are the, are the faces of, the face of your drawer is the actual drawer, then you're gonna go to page 14. <clears throat> And when you get to page 14, it'll tell you, are you building the bottom drawer or are you building the top drawer or uh, any drawer other than the bottom drawer? If you're building any drawer other than the bottom drawer, which this one, I'm gonna build a bottom drawer. I'm gonna stay right here on five. And then I would follow for my drawer facing, I would follow this configuration. So let's build our drawer. Easiest way to do it is to remember that your inside of the drawer is the pretty side. The outside of the drawer has the, has the bins. And you're gonna take that and you're gonna line up those, uh, the way it curves. And all you gotta do is just stick it right up against there, push it in until it clicks, and your drawer is done on that side. Take your other side, line it up, click it in, and then if you set the end of your drawer up, makes it real easy to put your, your bottom in. So the bottom of the drawer has these ridges here. And on your rails, the bottom of the drawer, where the underside, not this is the inside of the drawer, the underside of the drawer is gonna have these, uh, these uh, grooves. And then you have a finished edge and an unfinished edge. The unfinished edge goes towards the steel at the, at the back. <clears throat> Set your drawer in the groove, line up the, uh, and it slides right down and in. It should sit flush. Flip your drawer over. Got a screw hole right here. Grab your season pocket. Find your screws. And in the season packet, there's uh, uh, quite a bit of different screws, but there's one long screw. It's just like that. That long screw is going to go right in here and hold the back of your drawer on. I like to use my drill. You can use a screwdriver. A screwdriver is a little safer if you don't have a drill with a clutch on it. I set my clutch at 16. And the drawer body is done. So next, I need to get my drawer face. And then, bingo, I have my, my face plate. This one you definitely do not want to use a razor knife on because you end up cutting your drawer plate, your drawer face, and you don't want to do that. Really easy to just stick your hand in there, open it up. They're packed really well. 
throw your door out. This little instruction that came with it just shows you how to remove the, the film that's on the front. So on the front of your on the front of your cabinet, there's a film to protect the paint while you're building it. So there's a little on the bottom here. There is some writing. Some drawers, uh, the white ones especially, the white uh, faces for the internal drawers will have a sticker here. But this just has a little stamp here. That is the bottom of your drawer. So you want to set that facing towards you and then grab your season packet and pull out these fun little rails. They look like that. And they screw in with these little fat stubby screws. They look like this. And you're gonna need two for each one of these. And you're gonna need your plastic rails that hold your drawer face up and allow you to adjust the tilt of the front of your drawer. And you'll need two screws for each of those. So I wanna look at my instructions. And in my instruction booklet, it tells me for the bottom drawer, which is what I'm building now, I'm going to use the bottom two holes in my, in my drawer holder. And this, this is also the adjustment for the left right of your drawer. So I'm going to make sure that I'm going to use those two holes, not this hole, for the bottom drawer. So I'm going to set my, on the bottom, on the bottom holes, Set my first screw, and then turn that down to 15. There we go. So it's always nice to use a clutch. I don't, I don't like to use my driver because my driver has a little too much power and I don't want to strip out my, my screw holes. So once I've got the, uh, the, drawer, the drawer adjustment in, I'm going to look on here and it tells me my plastic pieces are going to be in the top holes. You'll notice there's six holes on each side. I'm going to go to the top hole and I'm going to use, there are three, three holes in this one. I'm going to use the middle one and the bottom one for for that and what this does is it allows you to put your drawers in so that when you put all your hinges in the right place doesn't matter what your door what your drawer configuration is when you put your hinges in the right place everything lines up beautifully you know for for inexpensive cabinets they're built really well they're super square i mean when we put the cab with the base cabinets together Everything came out really square. And we had an Ikea kitchen when we lived in Georgia. Uh, we put that together back in 2000 and I think 11. And uh, when we sold the house in Georgia, the kitchen looked just as good as it did the day we put it in. They, they, they're really quality. And this is actually better quality than the drawers that we had, than the, the, the cabinet that we had in Georgia. So once I get those in, I want to turn my drawer face around so that it faces me. And my metal piece is on the bottom. Pull my drawers close to me. Lift it up just a little bit. Line up the holes. Line up the holes and click it in. Once it clicks in, I'm going to grab my rails. I've got some real, it'll hide this, this mess here. Gray one goes on the right, white one goes on the left. Click it in at the end of the drawer and slide it into the, to the groove in the plastic piece there. This and this will adjust the face of your drawer front and back. So once that's done, pop this on, cover that up, 
And then some drawers have them, some drawers don't, because this drawer face is a lot taller than some of the other drawers. They come with this little piece here to hold this, uh, this cover in. It just goes into one of the holes. And then you can just take a little piece, push it all the way in. So my rails are on. I'm gonna turn my drawer over. And I'm gonna grab this cool little grill for a Jeep. And I'm gonna put that right in the center. And then I've got, there they are, three screws. So I got one, two, three. So you wanna be careful when you're pushing down on here because this could uh, bend a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my, I'll just screw it. Want to make sure that I hold the uh, the piece up against the black drawer face, so that when I put it in, it holds the drawer face and the bottom of the drawer nice and snug. There we go. We have a completed drawer. So I'm going to go ahead and put the other drawers together and then I'm going to show you how to install the rails, uh, the, the, uh, the rails for the drawers to slide in and out of the cabinet and I'm going to show you how to adjust the drawers. So I'll let you watch us build the rest of the drawers. going to put in the bottom drawer for we'll put in the top drawer first and then we'll put in the bottom drawer that way if I drop a screw I don't drop it in the hinge below so my top one I know that I'm doing a drawer a, a cabinet with two large drawers and my top drawer is going to go based on this in hole number 13 from the bottom so I count up from the bottom one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And I'm just gonna put a little mark with my pencil. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And this pencil mark will be covered by the by the uh, drawer slides. So I got my my thirteenth mark and then my second hole, easy to see. I just put a little mark by my second hole. And then uh, I don't need this anymore. So my next question is, which holes on my drawer slides do I use? So they've got three sets or two sets of three holes, top and a bottom. For my bottom drawers, I'm always going to use the top hole because the bottom drawer will sit right flush on the bottom. I just send it down in there and I use the second hole. And I'm usually going to use one, three, and three. I make sure that that's what I'm using here, one, three, and three. I know that I'm doing my top drawer or my drawer that's not a bottom drawer. And then I want to make sure that I've got the left and the right side. So this is my left slide. So it's going to be on the left side of the drawer. And that way when I open it, it pulls all the way out. What I like to do is pull these out and then grab my soft close hinges. Make sure that I've got the left side. It marks, it's marked right on there with an L. And the, when the letter is facing towards you, and the, the letter is facing towards you, that's the way it's gonna go in. It slides right in. There's two little, um, two little indents you push in and pull it back and it sets the drawer and then just check it, let it slide back and it's got a nice soft close to it. Do the same for the other side. Face the letters towards you, grab it, pull it, done. So hole number 13. 
grab my little stubby screws. I know I'm using the bottom holes. It's real important that you use the correct hole. If you don't use the correct hole, your drawers won't line up when you go to put them in. I'm gonna take my, take my screws, line it up with the hole. I'm gonna use the front hole. Pull that out, it gives it a little counterbalance. So I'm using a hole one, three, and three. Line up my hole in the back, grab a screw. Put it in until my clutch engages. Push this back just enough to reach the third hole up here. Good. And switch sides. Always nice to have a magnetic end on your, on your drill. Front hole, bottom hole, line it up, screw it in. Bring my slide out so that it counterbalances, set it up in the hole. Now for the bottom. In my instructions, the bottom says I use hole number two, and I use go back in my in my manual here. So there's no words at all in this manual. It's all pictures. I'm going to go to page 19, one, three, and three. Is that the right hole, bumps? Got my helper here. Best helper ever, huh, Bubs? You're the best helper ever. Sometimes you gotta watch this guy. He finds something that he likes, like a roll of tape, and he'll try to go outside with it, and then I'll never see it again. Or screws. <laughs> Leave my screws alone. You know, a little screwball. All right. Put in my Soft close, I know that's my right side. That's my left side. That's my right side. That's my left side. Soft close in. Second hole. And the screw lost under there. Second hole, top. I don't need to slide my rail when I'm doing the top holes. Because there's plenty of space. One, three, and three. All right, so I got my top drawer. Pull my slides out. Set it in the track. Should be thick. Slam it, pull it out, 
again, the beautiful soft clothes. Bottom drawer, pull them out. Stay on the track. Here, click, slam it, pull it out. Beautiful soft clothes. Let's see if our drawers came out level and square and pretty. So I'll take my level and I'll put it down and I can see that my, my drawers are flush on that side and they're flush on that side. So I won't need to adjust the face of my drawer. I know that, so come over here. If I needed to adjust the face of my drawer, I would just turn these. And you, a couple ways you could do it, you could turn it while it's in the, in, the, in the hole, or you can pop it out and turn it. Mine came out just right, so cover them up. Good. Cover it up. Good. Okay, the next thing I wanna make sure, and uh, my template's coming, so I'm coming back. We have a little bonus here. Um, after our countertop guy came, checked out all the countertop, we started looking again at drawer configuration, and I realized that when I ordered the cabinets, this cabinet here was supposed to have a, an, in, an interior drawer for spatulas, stuff like that. And then you got your, your short pots and your tall pots down on the bottom. So we get to install this low drawer right here. Got the low drawer put together, and looking at my instructions, I know that I'm going to use the middle holes in the slides, the front and the back, hole number two, so the middle holes. And then when I look at my configuration, I've got an interior drawer, you see it's outlined with the dotted lines, hole number 21, which is the third hole from the top. So it makes it really easy for me to set up. I'm going to have you come over on this side. And I'll make sure that I have my left and my right. This is my left. It opens out. When I put it in, I want to make sure that I'm using hole number two on the bottom. Hole number two on the bottom, front and back. So, and I'm going in hole number three from the top or hole number 21 from the bottom. And important with this one is that you're using the back hole, not the front hole. And then you can see, if you come over on this side, you can see where I'm putting it. Come over on this side. So I'm using the bottom hole. And I'm in hole number three. One, two, three. And I'm using the back hole, because if I use the front hole, then my drawer front will hit the face of the, the, the forward drawer. So I'm just gonna use the back one. Hole number two on the bottom. Open up my drawer. Open up my interior drawer. Set it in the track. Wait for it to click. Shut it. 
and I got an interior drawer and an exterior drawer. Beautiful. All right. So now we'll uh, do the rest of lining up the drawers. Good. All right. So got our bonus drawer in and uh, going to do some setting up of the, the drawers, aligning them, getting them ready. Really easy thing to do. Get you some plumbers first. Plumber's tape. <laughs> I hope plumbers don't use this tape. Get you some painter's tape. Fold it over on the end. Open your drawers that you can't get to. And then stick your painter's tape right on top of it. Make sure that it, that it sticks down on the top and the back. So it gives you a nice little handle to pull. But then when you open this drawer, it won't... Uh, catch the tape if you don't take the top and then you end up losing your, your makeshift handle. So I know that by looking at my drawers, the faces turned out good. If you need to adjust your faces, that is what this here is for. And you'll turn it left or right and it tips the, the face of the drawer back and forth. We know that's good. By looking at this, my fronts are level and this one is level, but it's a little lower. It sits perfectly where I want it, so centered. If I, if I need to center, if you come around to this side, if you need to center, there's a screw right here. And uh, this was those, those little metal things that we, glued, that we uh, screwed onto the face of the drawer. That would be your adjustment for your left and right of your drawer face. My drawer faces are right where I want them to be, but this one, the bottom one, is a little lower than I want it. So I'm gonna bring up both sides and uh, I'm gonna find my screwdriver right here. Phillips screwdriver. This mechanism, mecha mechanism, this mechanism is in the back part of the drawer attachment. And I'm gonna stick my screwdriver in there, put it on the, uh, on the screw, and then I wanna stick my finger underneath the bottom so I can feel when I turn it drawer front. So I'll look at it. It's a little lower than I want. So I wanna raise it up. And there we go. Closer, now I'll equal it out on the other side. I could get it in the hole with probably old age. So I turned it twice on both sides, or th three times on both sides. This side looks like it's a little higher. I'm going to lower it down one. can't see there it is and it fits right in there and just for fun I'm going to check my the level of my drawer and it looks good my drawer looks good I could probably bring probably bring this up just one more click just because it doesn't look come on baby perfect so that's how you adjust your IKEA drawers that's how you put your drawers together I hope you enjoyed this video um, hopefully we can start putting more videos out again. We just got so busy that I forgot to do anything with the videos. Uh, follow us, um, like our, like our channel, subscribe to our channel. Our life's gone to shed. Like this video, 
click the little like button wherever it's at. And thank you very much for following. Our life has gone to shed. Thank you.